Hi, my name is Dr. James Chesson. I am the developer of the Innate Choice Supplement System. In this segment, I want to talk to you about probiotics. Um, some of you may not be very familiar with that term, so again, I think the best place to start is to explain to you what a probiotic is. A probiotic is a type of bacteria which we require uh, for us to have a healthy immune system, a healthy intestinal system to digest our food properly. One of the things many people don't know because there's, there's so much bad press for, for bacteria that many people think that all bacteria are bad. And in fact, the, the exact opposite is true. There are very few bacteria that are, that are commonly harmful to, to human beings. And there are an awful lot of bacteria that are very helpful, in fact, required and essential for human beings. Essential, again, meaning that we can't produce them ourselves. Well, we have to ingest them. So the, the truth is that humans and, and uh, bacteria live in a symbiotic relationship. In fact, you know, you have 10 times more bacteria in your intestine than you have cells in your entire body. We, we literally... Uh, um, our, our walking soil, we're animated soil, and, and, and any, good, um, any good scientist or gardener will tell you that to tell the health of a soil, you look at the organisms that are living in it. And that's also true of human beings. If you want to look at a, a healthy human being, they will always have a lot of healthy organisms or bacteria uh, living and thriving in, within them. And if you look at an unhealthy human being, very often they have unhealthy bacteria living and thriving within them. So. I think it's just important to get a little bit of background. You'll, you'll also hear some terms like a prebiotic, and a prebiotic is simply the food that the probiotic bacteria eat. And a symbiotic is when people uh, combine some of the food for the bacteria and the ba bacteria themselves into a supplement form. They call that a symbiotic. And for many reasons, that's not the best way to do it because the, the, the actually the probiotics can reanimate and start eating that stuff, and they end up, you, you end up getting... Um, you get very few bacteria in, the, in that bargain. You're much better off to consume the bacteria with a meal rather than trying to put them together in a pill. So let me explain now a little bit about what these probi probiotic bacteria do to us. Probably the simplest way to do it is this, is that literally our intestinal tract through our, it's called our alimentary tract, through our mouth, through our, our stomach, and through our intestine, and, and, and out with the waste products is, is that tract is really the, the, it's the outside world. There's no part of that. It's like a tube that goes through our body. And that's really where we interface with the external environment. All the foods and everything we ingest and all the liquids go through there. So it's a very, very important place to make sure that we have tight control about what gets into our system and what does not. Probiotic bacteria basically compete with any of the harmful bacteria by consuming all the food and taking all the receptor sites so that these unhealthy bacteria uh, cannot proliferate and, and, and start to cause us problems. So it's very, very important to have these probiotic bacteria to protect ourselves against the harmful bacteria. The other thing that probiotic bacteria do is they actually produce some of our, some of the vitamins that we require. They also produce some short chain fatty acids, not the long chain essential fatty acids I, we will talk about uh, when I talk about the fish oil but some uh, very important short chain fatty acids. So we literally require probi probiotic bacteria. It's the 80% of our immune system is in our gut with bacteria. The, the, the other thing they do is they produce food for us, essential nutrients like short chain fatty acids and some of the, and some of the vitamins. So human beings cannot live, uh, it cannot be healthy and cannot thrive without healthy bacteria. So where did we normally get our bacteria? Why is it that we need to, to supplement with these uh, probiotic bacteria? And, and the answer to that is quite simple. We now consume one millionth of the bacteria on a daily basis that our ancestors did, our healthy ancestors. If we look at the healthiest people anywhere on the planet, they always have very healthy probiotic bacteria. Why don't we consume enough bacteria anymore? Number, one, of the, one of the main reasons is that the way our food is produced, it's, it's produced on farms that are sprayed with pesticides and herbicides. It's, it's then often irradiated. It's really, our, most of our lives now are sanitized. And one of, the, one of the benefits of that, of course, is that we can kill some of the negative bacteria. But one of the huge, huge sort of detriments of that is that we also kill a lot of the good bacteria. And study after study will show you that the, that the best way to defend against unhealthy bacteria isn't to use these harmful products or antibiotics to kill them. The best way is to produce a healthy internal environment with, with enough probiotics so that you can, that, that's your best defense against them. So that's why we don't consume enough healthy probiotics now is because, is because of the way our food is grown. The soil that is grown in is also basically sanitized. Uh, the way our food is prepared is sanitized. We eat a lot more cooked than raw foods now and, and um, 
there's just not a lot of probi probiotic bacteria living in the, in the soil or even in the animals that we consume anymore. So again, just to summarize, probiotic bacteria are the healthy bacteria that, that are an essential part of essential meaning that we can't make them ourselves, we have to consume them. They're essential to for, for, in, uh, your genetic makeup, the ability to, for your genes, that innate genetic intelligence uh, inside of each of your cells, that intelligence requires as one of the raw materials probiotics in order to protect itself against the outside world and for immunity and to produce short-chain fatty acids and vitamins. Without probiotics, you can't be healthy. We need to supplement because they're no longer available in our food source. I hope that clears some things up for you. Thank you.